Hey ladies and gentlemen, um, first I want to wish you well, and the Lord has put something in my spirit, okay, I was communing with the Father today, and the times we're living in, ladies and gentlemen, is not good, okay, and as I've always told you, that whenever I get a word from the Father, I'm either going to explain it to you, or I'm just going to tell you what's being said, of what's to come. Okay? This is specifically, this is specifically for America. America has been obsessed with Israel being torn apart. Now, I'm going to read right out of the word of God, of the scripture that I've been told to read to America. This is a warning to America. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. That's Joel chapter 2, letting you know that Jesus Christ is coming soon. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of cloud and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and strong, there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth, the land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is the appearance of horses and a horseman, so they shall run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as the strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the men like man of war, and they shall march every one of his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Okay. If you read chapter 2, ladies and gentlemen, this is talking about the last days when all of the nations of the world rise up against Israel and the Lord is going to use his mighty power, his hand, and his army to destroy those nations. Okay? Um, Verse 7, I mean verse 8 in Joel chapter 2. Neither shall one thrust another, they shall walk everyone in his in his path, and when they shall and they and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. In other words, God's coming with the sword. Okay. He's also taking the riches from America and giving them to America's enemies. He's taking the sword from America, meaning his protection is no longer upon America. Okay? He's removed that. He's also taken the, the strength America had and given it to the enemy the, to the enemies of America. Okay, verse nine it says they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up the house. They shall enter in the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw this shining. Verse eleven, verse nine to eleven. Verse 11, the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is great, for he is strong and executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, who can abide in it? Verse 12, therefore also now say that the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and, and with weeping, and with mourning. And rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Okay, so America's already done. Okay. The Lord's calling to repentance those that have not blasphemed his name yet. Okay? If you read the rest of chapter 2, it talks about the day of the coming of the Lord. This is Joel chapter 2. also talks about what's going to happen to those nations that come up against Israel. Okay? Jesus Christ told me to tell America that you are a rebellious house that has turned your back on the Lord thy God. That America was founded on a rock, on Christian principles, but not anymore. 
This nation is not a Christian nation. The Lord used Obama to say that. This nation is a Muslim nation. This nation worships the devil. So America, the Lord Jesus Christ is saying that if you part his land, Israel, he is going to part you in three sections. You are messing with the wrong God. You and your technology and how much you try to advance technolo technologically, you cannot go up against Jesus Christ. You can't. You can't win a losing battle. Jesus Christ is God. He is eternal. Jesus Christ and the righteous will not pass. Neither will the Lord's word. They're eternal. Heaven and earth can pass, but the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, His word and His righteous are eternal. You can't defeat that. But you still refuse to hearken unto the servants, the prophets that the Lord has sent to you many times. So Jesus Christ is taking the rain, so to speak. There's going to be a storm coming upon the land, a great storm. And right now what you're feeling is the quiet before the storm. The Lord is, is stripping America of all of her jewels, of everything she had. Behold, the battle of Gog and Magog is upon you. Is upon you. Rebellious house whose hands are full of blood, full of the blood of the saints you murder. I hold you accountable. I hold you accountable for the lost. I hold you accountable for my sheep that have been slain, says the Lord thy God. I will judge every man for his works, the secrets of his hearts. For his deeds. I am rough. I am coming with the sword in my mouth. Behold. The inhabitants of the earth will shake. As I step my feet upon the earth. My footstool. The inhabitants of the earth. Will flee. But you will not be able to flee. He who sits on the throne. For I am coming. I am coming for a righteous war. I came once to save mankind. This time I come to judge. Behold the Lord thy God is upon thee. Babylon. I am wroth. I have flames fuming out of my nostrils, for I am displeased with all of the wickedness that I see. I have sent my only begotten Son to die for the sins of man. But man has turned their back on my laws and my statutes. Behold, I have baptized earth with water. I shall baptize her with my fire. For I am a God that is a, soup, that is a consuming fire. And I, the Lord thy God, repent. Repent. For making a nation such as Babylon. I repent, but I shall amend that. I shall amend that and do what is undone. I will start the earth over. I will destroy the wicked as in the days of Noah. And I will save a remnant, my elect, my righteous. I have sent my daughter upon you to warn, to blow the trumpet. She is warning you. She 
is warning you. For I have sent her forth and I've called her. I've called her to warn you. Repent ye or you shall perish. Repent for those that have not blasphemed my name. A storm is coming upon the land and I will lay this land desolate. Yea.